Did you think I was done? <laughs> no, 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 no. I know it's been a few months now since I made another video uh, related to cars, but geez, it's been a busy summer and I'm ready to get back at you with another thing today. You see that pretty girl right there? That right there? That little Jeep? Yeah, so quick update on you. Civic is gone, Jeep is in. Uh, I'll probably explain more on another video, but today we've got a little task to do on this one. A uh, very common problem, if you're watching this, you probably want to know how to install these. So let's get it to you. The outer tube seals for the front axles. So, here they are. This is what they look like. Just got the two in black. It is uh, axle seals with a greasable fitting on it. I'm going to show you how to take this apart and put it in. But essentially, I mean, if you have one of these, you know what I'm talking about. Right here, where the axle seal is. Well, there's a cover here on the outside and on the inside of the axle is where the actual seal is and they tend to leak and you can see right here after I replaced my ball joints it uh, started leaking for whatever reason so that's why we're going to be installing these so with these Dana 3035 axles even the Chrysler and most axles they have a seal on the inside to stop the fluid from coming out and of course in order to replace that it's a whole job we don't want to do it's a lot easier for us to just have these kind of custom outer tube seals which has been a very popular thing for a lot of people now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that kind of upgrade mod, if you wanna call it that. Basically, super easy to install, except getting to it is kind of a pain. We gotta pull everything off to get to the axle, and then we slide the axle through this, and it will go in place on the outside, and that will help keep extra stuff out, as well as sealing the axle. So it's a bit of an upgrade, and uh, only, I think, $30 for these two, but getting to it's annoying, so let's get on. So obviously we'll start this by jacking up the axle, put our axle stand there under the frame, and take the wheel off, and we'll put that under there too, just for some extra protection. From there we're going to undo the axle cotter pin, take off the little cap that's on it, and undo the axle nut with a 36mm, and then you're going to take off the caliper, it's just two bolts, and then it slides off, and then slide off your um, brake rotor, and then you're going to undo the three bolts that hold the hub on, and then if it's a little bit stuck on there, just smack the side of it with a hammer and you'll see you'll be able to pull it straight off and pull the axle out. Alright, so that wasn't actually that bad getting down to it this time because I've already taken this all off when I replaced the upper and lower ball joints. I didn't record that one, but I'm going to be doing the other side eventually. So there will be a video to come on ball joints, probably tie rods, the whole shebang we're going to replace and make brand new. But this is essentially what you have to do to get to those <laughs> tube seals. Um, take off the hub, the caliper, the rotor, the nut, all that, and it pulls off. Super straightforward, actually, as long as it's not too rusted in there. You shouldn't have too much of a problem. And then in here is where your tube seal will go. So it will be pushed into here, and the axle will slide straight through it. Let me grab one of them here. So now we've got this seal here. I'm gonna go in there like that. Oops. There, whatever, got one now. So it's gonna get pressed into there and the axle will go straight through it. And then that will block everything from getting in there and the grease from getting out. And we shouldn't have to worry about that again. So put that in there. Next step, before putting that in, I would say, especially if your axles are kind of old and rusty, you're gonna want to take a scuffing pad and kind of clean this up, make sure it goes in smooth and that it doesn't destroy any of the uh, rubber on this or you know mess any of the seals up on it that you're putting in right now once that's installed we will put some grease into here too and that'll be done and then <laughs> repeat the process for the other side hi welcome back to ryan's wet t-shirt contest in the garage just kidding this is what uh working on cars in the fall of a valley is like in fucking auto i hate it uh anyway there's not many nice days left so i'll take what i can get I'll just quickly show you here where I'm at. I got it in and I put the axle in. So basically, uh, with these axles, when they start to obviously rust and corrode, they start to like the metal bulks up and whatnot, which makes these a pain in the ass to put in. So I just sanded it down with this as much as I could, cleaned it up enough so that I could push this in and have it hold itself. And then I had an old oil filter thing here which was just enough to slide through here, cover the whole thing, and then I hammered this to push it in most of the way before this hit the back, and then I just went around the edge. You can probably tell here it's been smacked. It's just, you know, cheap aluminum, but uh, the seal itself is still 
good but anyway if you can find something that perfectly fits the outside of this that would be optimal instead of hammering it back and forth i was at it forever and you can see it's it's almost flush not quite fully back i think that's what it's supposed to be but anyway there's three rubber grommets and i had to help hammer the crap out of it so i think that's gonna work i don't think it would leak if it did that'd be ridiculous and now that that's in we're gonna put grease in our fitting put everything back together and that's done the other side wasn't leaking on me this is the one that I really wanted to get done, so I might just do that at a later day when it's nicer weather. But this is the main thing I wanted to do was stop this side from leaking and uh, show you guys how to install something like this. So, All right, well, this is going to be kind of a whack video back because of fucking weather and everything like that. But that's basically it, how to install those. And I'll give you just a little side note here. This little plastic cover that's on the axles normally to cover that thing. You don't need it anymore after this, so make sure you... Throw that off, don't try and install it with it because it will not fit probably. I didn't try it, but it doesn't look like it would fit. So anyway, that's how to do that. Lots more to come on this Cherokee. This is just the start of it. I really love this car. I'm gonna have this one for a while. You'll see we'll do lots of maintenance on it and as well as slight upgrades. I don't know, we'll see. I got many ideas in my head. So if you wanna watch that and you wanna see where it goes, you can subscribe, go through all the other videos I have. I got a playlist on a Honda Civic that I built, turbocharged, rebuild the engine, a lot of good stuff there. Also, how-tos on how to do lots of basic stuff that applies to a lot of different cars, lots on the channel, and more to come. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and see you next time. When you ask me to bring that guacamole to the party, I'll say no, no. If you ask me bring the guacamole to the party, I'll say no, no, no. That shit's too expensive.